Welcome back, everyone. As you can see, I've already got my next guest out here. She's one of my favourite stand-up comedians. It is the fabulous Francesca Martinez. <laughs> Let me go and give you the welcoming kiss as well. Uh, great to have you on the show. I'm, uh, I met Francesca a while ago. I was doing a radio thing and she was on as well. She was so funny. It blew me around. I said, we've got to get you on the show. And we finally uh, made it happen. I'm very uh, pleased to It was say. such an inspiration meeting because I think you've done so well with your speech and pediment. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> amazing. So the fact that my disability hasn't held me back at all, is what you say? No, there? I just think it's that. And I think it's so cool that you met your wife, Jane, you know, <laughs> because it shows there are women out there who aren't superficial. <laughs> <laughs> she can, she can see past the. We, you know, she obviously met you and was, OK, he can't say, oh, but fuck it, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> really beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> it's a beautiful story. Yeah. Um, well, now, you make a lot of your material refers to cerebral palsy, or some of your material does, so. I call it being wobbly. OK. Because it's a lot easier to say. <laughs> and a lot cooler. <laughs> you don't want to be wobbly sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of... Because I learned to drive quite recently, right? And, uh, God, when they told me I could drive, I was like, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I did, but I did. <laughs> and um, I was getting into my car, right, and this cabbie pulls up right next to me and he says, don't do it, love. <laughs> and I'm like, do what? And he goes, don't drink and drive. <laughs> 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 Oh, dear. Well. And, and I was like, I get it, Mr Cabby, just cos you're, you know, just cos you think I'm a bit shaky and I walk a bit of funny and I've got puke down my front <laughs> and a bottle in my hand. <laughs> now, your tour that you just finished up at the moment, that's called What The Is Normal yeah. Anyway. Uh, and now that's a very thought-provoking title, I thought, to have for you. Yeah, because of my life, I'd be defined as abnormal. And I just think, no one's normal. Have you ever met a normal person? I probably, when you come to think of it, probably not, no. Where are they? Yeah, where are they hiding? So I definitely want to challenge that idea. And I think if you're normal, if you think you're normal, you're a freak. <laughs> 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 it's not normal. I think, you know, that everyone has their own differences and I think through comedy I really try and just say that whatever body you're born into we all share the human experience yeah. and I love being wobbly because it gets me out of all the housework <laughs> amazing <laughs> my boyfriend always says Chess it's so weird you can't do the wash up but you can do your makeup <laughs> weird isn't it <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how do your parents do it? Because they must, I'm sure, have got a lot of comments about you growing up and a lot of... Well, my parents are amazing. They're, my family are my rock in my life because they always said to me, the only label we need for you is Francesca. And my mum is so cool because I had that a lot of parents, like, experience a sense of loss when they find out their child is disabled. So... I kind of wondered if she ever felt this. So a few years ago, I kind of sat her down and said, Mum, did you ever feel disappointed when you found out I was wobbly? And she said, No, I was just so excited about the free parking! <laughs> <laughs> so, so I've got to say, my parents are my rock. And I think, I think you can be happy if you're loved. And I was very loved, so I feel very lucky because I'm like society when it tells you that happiness comes from, you know, things or looking a certain way or having a lot of money. I think it just comes from um, being loved and accepting who you are. And the hardest three words I ever said were, I like myself 
And I, I highly recommend it. It's a lot cheaper than Bovox. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> and it, they changed my entire life. So uh, the tour now, you're, you're doing a few dates here. I know you've got a London date coming up, which yes. I'm going to go to. Uh, and then uh, what's the plan for the rest of the year? What are you doing next? Uh, well, I'm starting to write a book called What the Four Star is Normal. Because um, I think... I think people need an antidote to all the pressure to be normal. And I want to stick two wobbly fingers up to those superficial bollocks. <laughs> and also, uh, I, oh, I'm working on a sitcom, um, so I really want that to come out. And, so, you know, I just want to say to everyone out there, don't let people make you feel like I'm normal or not good enough, because... Who wants to be fucking normal anyway? Yeah. We, we want to be extraordinary, which is what we all are in our own different ways. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm so thrilled we finally got you to come on the show. Uh, I'm hoping, I know the book will happen, I hope the sitcom happens again. You have to promise me you're going to come back on and talk about them when they do. Yes, and I was very offended not to be asked to do the race. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh, we could have, oh, we could have got Steve Coogan pissed. <laughs> and then he could have run drunk, and I could have run brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> I think even without getting drunk, you'd probably have beaten him in a way, so I'll be yes, honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so lovely to have you on the show. Thank, Thank you for being you here. So You're much. a very funny young woman. Francesca Martin is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Thanks to all my guests tonight, as well as Francesca, of course, we had uh, Sasha and Steve. Uh, next week, I'll be joined by brilliant young actor Russell Tovey. We've got the absolutely fabulous Joanna Lumley will be here, and everyone's favourite Australian, Peter Andre. We also have music from the brilliant new band, Rudimental. But now, performing Hashtag That Power from his fantastic new album, Hashtag Willpower, it is Will I Am! <laughs> I think we, I think we have a bit of unfinished business. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 You want a bit? You, you need that much spice. <laughs>
Watch. Go out and smash it. Let go my dog. Jump out that sofa. Will. 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 Where's he going? Will. Will. It's cheating. Jonathan's back tomorrow night with his own unique take on film director Alfred Hitchcock. Perspectives, tomorrow night at 10.